information. In what ways does your media product use, develop, or challenge forms and conventions of real media products? Our media product is a short film based around depression, which involves a teenage girl. Just from the sound of that sentence, you can already see that we have diverged from the normal uh, route for filming a short film, and we would like the ours to be unique in terms in the film industry. When researching for our short film, we decided that the most effective way for inspiration was to look into other short films. Uh, examples that we used were Alarm Clock, Living With Depression, Dear Mum, Dear Dad, and A Life Alone. We analysed these short films in detail and we based it around the sound, camera work, mise en scène, and also the editing as an indication of how we would structure our film. Uh, each of these short films had elements that we could divert. For example, Alarm Clock, it was unique and was left on a cliffhanger, whereas most short films aren't, although some do go down that route. Uh, whereas Thinking for Yourself is about all about subverting the stereotypes and the social norms. Uh, Dear Mum, Dear Dad has many twists in it. Uh, it's about living with depression. Um, and finally, the depression is a plot where about a girl suffering with depression, obviously. <laughs> um, and she does this silently and she doesn't seek out any help as she's in fear of being ri ridiculed. And depression is also similar to living with depression, except at the end of the film, the people suffering gain the help they need. We decided to combine elements of all of these films. For example, A Life Alone, we shot in black and white, so we decided to edit our film in that way and change the colour color contrast. As it was kind of like uh, conventions and forms that uh, make that she can't get out of this bubble that she's in of sadness, as black and white is quite a dark tone to set. Um, Alarm Clock had its unique style in terms of its originality, considering they had used product placement in order to get the point across of the entire film. Therefore, we tried to be as original in terms of using depression as the product placement. Think for yourself challenged stereotypes of Muslims and men and subverted them, therefore leaving the industry almost shocked because of the expectations they originally had, which coincides with our short film. I think the voiceover bit worked really well over the whole thing. I think that's like a really good way to go. Um, but when you've got like the lo like long shot of all of the drugs and everything else being put in front of them, I think it'd be really cool to do like close ups of the drugs and things, especially when she was taking them as well. Like in her hands, I think that would be more effective if you like take close ups and stuff. I think that would work um, I thought it was uh, nice and stylish and well scripted. Uh, nice approach having it narrated, I like speaking over it. Uh, I thought it was, uh, there was like a really important undertone that is not seen by many others. So like uh, depression and all that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, just with that, 
It was that guy who passed away, like. Uh, Terry Pratchett. No, what's his no. name? Robin. Robin, Robin Williams. Williams. Robin Williams. Robin yeah, Williams. Robin Williams, yeah. that's it. Um, you know, like he suffered with it. And, you know, like he was uh, a stand up comedian and all that stuff. And you just kind of like don't pay attention to it. I think it's, mm. you know. Because of the sensitivity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's, a, there's a few points where she does look into camera, yeah. um, which I think, you know, as soon as somebody looks into camera, it gives it away. So, it's, you know, it just says there's a camera here and this is a film. See, I, sorry. And I don't know if, yeah, go on. You know, I was going to say, because I've written that down, hmm. that she almost makes friends with the camera. And I quite like that because it's almost like she's talking to somebody. Mm. I almost think you ought to make more of that by so, like, using it as yeah, I think sounds. either you go for it and do it, it or, or otherwise it looks like a mistake. Yeah, exactly. and, it, and it really just gives it where you exactly. go, oh, you know, it's a bit yeah. of a shame. But all, a bit where, um, what sorry. I quite like is when she was looking at the camera and smiling, it was almost like there's somebody there listening to what she's saying and recording that. <coughs> <coughs> How did you use media technologies in the construction and research planning and evaluation stages? Stages of course rap production. Firstly, throughout all the stages of my course rap production, as a group, we used a lot of different media technologies in order to construct together our research planning, construction of the short film and also the evaluation. The research. For the research part of the coursework, a lot of common software was used in order to gather information and knowledge for the planning and construction of the five-minute short film. Examples that we use as a group to gather and present the research are... All of these pieces of online software were effectively used in order to embed the research that we were gathering throughout the time spent in lessons and at home, post creatively onto our coursework blogs which consisted of Tumblr and WordPress. The planning. For the planning part of the coursework we went more in depth and used more creative methods to present our work onto the blogs. For example, we used software which digitally presented the work for us by using Photoshop and creating text-based images which showed the planning or generating online GIFs from GIFmaker or again Photoshop. Also, in order to keep in contact with each other, we would often speak to each other via our group Facebook chat, which enabled us to send files to one another. 
Along with this, in order to keep our work together and share our progress, we created a Dropbox account, which is very helpful with filming and sharing with each other the professional photos that we took to use in our ancillary task. There are a lot of media technology examples that we use throughout the construction of the short film, such as Photoshop was mainly used during the creation of both the ancillary task, which was the poster and magazine review. The main search engines we used were Safari, which was with us on the Macs, and the Google Chrome, which is what we used as our home laptop. We used Adobe After Effects in order to construct together the titles during the editing part of, the, of constructing our short film and hoped it would link with the narrative. We used a lot of colour correction and special effects in with the titles that the conventions were suited to our genre and with the short film. So that we could safely store our footage, we purchased our own hard drive for the peace of mind, which was a 1TB portable hard drive that we shared between us and made sure everyone reviewed the changes before they were saved on the footage. In order to construct together the evaluation, we used Adobe Premiere Pro to construct the work into a digital commentary video.